Uh, my name is Ira Cronin. It's I-R-A-C-R-O-N-I-N. I'm the Public Relations Manager with the Colorado Springs Police Department. Uh, so here's what we've got so far. At 10.03 this morning, we got a call for service for a shooting here in front of the El Paso County Courthouse here on Tejon. When we arrived on scene, we found one person deceased with what appears at this point to be a gunshot wound. Uh, this is at this time being investigated as a homicide and of course the coroner will make the exact determination and cause of death, but we have been able to rule out that this was an active shooter situation. This was not an active shooter situation and there is no ongoing current threat to the community or public safety in the area at this time. Early on in the investigation, this appears that it could be a very uh, isolated incident, I can say that. But again, we're just getting going with a very fluid investigation that's gonna involve a lot of agencies and we'll get you more information as we can. And again, the coroner will be making the ID on the victim. Uh, Colorado Courts has tweeted out that they are closing the courthouse for the rest of the day. And on their social media post, I believe there's a phone number. So if someone has a court case scheduled later today, they can call to figure out how their court case is going to be rescheduled. So we're going to be asking everybody for the rest of the afternoon to avoid the area here of Tejon between Vermajo to the south and Colorado on the north, essentially right here between the courthouse and the Pioneers Museum. Uh, I'll mention quickly, if someone has a car that is parked here on Tejon, uh, this crime scene is going to be closed for a few hours, but as soon as we get the process in place for how we're going to get people's vehicles back to them, we'll certainly put that out on social media. That'll come from CSPD, and we'll certainly alert our media partners so we can get the word out. We're hoping that will be later this afternoon, uh, but we'll have to let you know about that. Uh, so again, the scene's going to be closed for several hours. Um, I can bring Ashley Franco up from fire to kind of discuss the fire department response in a second. Um, and I just also do want to mention, so the El Paso County Courthouse, many of you likely know, is under the jurisdiction of the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. They are handling the investigation for anything that's happening inside the building. CSPD is handling the investigation on the outside. And obviously we had a large response from Colorado Fire as well to uh, help those who need it. So before I step aside, yeah, Mike. Was there only one victim or was there multiple? At this time, there was one victim who is deceased. Yeah. Has there been an arrest? Don't have that information at this time, Zach. No, it was not. So it was, it was not in the building. Were any other people shot? No. Not that we're aware of at this time. One one victim with a shoot, who with uh, again the apparent gunshot wound. We saw an individual in the car. We saw pictures of that. Was that the suspect in this? I don't know who that individual might have been, so I don't. I can't confirm that at this point. So it happened in the walkway leading up to the courthouse. I know it did not happen in the courthouse. Is what I can confirm at this time. Are those screens blocking where that person was shot? That would be my assumption. Uh, do you want to hear about the fire response? I'll bring Ashley up. Ashley Franco, ASHLEY, FRANCO, Colorado Springs Fire Department, Public Information Officer. We had about 20 CSFD personnel respond to this scene. As many of you know, engine um, and truck one, station one is right down the street. So we had about a one minute response for them. We were on scene, um, you know, very smoothly and swiftly with our PD partners here. Um, obviously we train for any large incident. This was isolated as Ira said, uh, but we are gonna be here to treat medicals. We did have two very, very minor injuries. They were treated and released on scene. Anything else on the fire department response from you guys? Was it, what were they treated for? Minor injuries. Was it at least 30 personnel? We had 20 personnel. 20. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Uh, so unless there's any questions, and I'll certainly take them, I doubt I can answer anything beyond what I've already said. Uh, we hope to have more information that we'll be putting out later this afternoon, probably at the very earliest. Yeah, Zach. You might not be able to answer, but does this connection any active cases in the courthouse, or is this... Uh... We don't know anything about... At this time, I have no idea. Okay, thank you. Does it appear that... 
This appears to be an isolated incident. I have no idea on if there was any possible relationship at this time. I don't know. We don't know yet. Okay, we'll put out on social media if we're going to hold something formal, if we just we'll put it out on the blotter or put out a release or something as soon as